Hi, welcome back to my shop. My name is Tim. A bunch of woodworkers on YouTube have gotten together and posed a challenge to make a kitchen utensil. I chose to make a, a, a nice cutting board, a little bit different style than what you would normally see, I guess. I went with kind of a chevron shape to it, and I used some spalted maple, some cherry, some walnut, and some ash to do it. So come right along and I'll show you how I made it. Okay, now we'll let that dry. Okay, this has been drying for a few hours now. We'll go ahead and get this out of the clamps. I have my miter gauge set to 15 degrees. I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to cut strips right on my fence. Because I cut them on a table saw, they're not going to be completely glue ready, so I'm going to have to take these strips and just lightly, lightly shave them on the uh, joiner to actually joint those edges so they can actually come together. You can see there are some gaps when I push them together. So I'm going to move on to the joiner and 
do some quick shaving and fitting. Nice, good, tight joints. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and glue them up and I'm actually gonna alternate them to give them a chevron style pattern. So I'll let it sit in the bin for about 15 minutes and get a good soak of mineral oil. And then I'll uh, apply some beeswax mineral oil mixture to the, sur the surface of it. mineral oil beeswax mixture. When it's melted like this, it'll actually soak into the grain a little bit. And then I'll let that dry. It'll leave kind of a, uh, kind of a satin film on the outside that I'll have to wipe off a little excess. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. I really enjoyed making this. I think it came out beautiful. I'm very, very pleased with the, with this cutting board. I also am very happy uh, to be involved with this challenge, and I appreciate those that, that pose the challenge to the fellow woodworking community on YouTube. There are about 35 to 40 uh, YouTube woodworkers that have been involved in this challenge. If you check out my description down below, I've got a list of all of their channels and all their uh, information on how you can actually get get to their videos and uh, check out their videos subscribe they, they have some amazing work out there the community is growing day by day and it's, it's just really awesome to see and also if you're not subscribed to my channel i invite you to subscribe and follow along with me i will be having many more videos coming up in the near future i plan to try to at least have a video out every couple weeks uh, that hasn't happened at the beginning of this year because uh we had an unexpected uh family member join up a little early. My uh, wife was due in April and uh, our baby girl showed up uh, at the beginning of January. So she ended up being 14 weeks early. And uh, she's been in the, in the NICU. She's doing really well. So it's going really good, but it's still going to be a little while before she makes it back home. Uh, and my wife is staying over there at the hospital. I'm going back and forth. So I'm not getting a whole lot of time in the shop. But I will pretty soon, and I've actually got some stuff I need to build uh, because of the baby being here. So one of those things, look for in the future, I'm building a crib. So a crib, baby gates, and a few other different things. So that's all coming. Keep an eye out. Like I said, subscribe. Until then, thanks for watching again. God bless.